Hank Brill here with the DailyRock.com. I'm currently sitting with Red Rum from the New Jersey pirate thrash metal band Swashbuckle. Yo ho. How's Cheers it going, man? Shit. I'm doing pretty good. Pretty how, good. Chilling in Chicago. How's the. So you're cool, man. God damn! Fuck! We're currently on the bus with them and DA, so we might have uh, some band members going in and out of this interview, but what the hell, this is what you get. And it's one thing when people get together and say, let's form a band. It's another thing when people get together and say, let's form a metal band or a thrash band. What made you guys say, you know what? Pirate metal. Um, we were sitting in a Denny's once, and there was, there was another uh, pirate band at the time called Scurvy from Boston. Check them out. They were good. Um, they played sort of like a pirate, like hardcore. Um, and uh, at the time they were still kicking around a little bit, um, but they uh, they were like just breaking up and we decided that we should fucking take up the pirate flag and it would be fucking fun and stupid and we like having stupid, stupid, stupid fun. And, um, so we decided to fucking do it. We, we jammed out a couple songs the next day in uh, my basement, recorded them, threw them up on MySpace. It was like right around the time when MySpace started getting big uh, for bands. What time period are we talking about? What year are we in? It was like early 2006. And um, it was just a joke. It was never meant to be anything more than just a couple of dudes making stupid music in my basement. And now here I am on the tour bus. Could you guys ever do like an East Coast or West Coast tour instead of having a tour bus have a tour yacht or tour <laughs> sailboat by any chance? Um, yeah, prob probably if you found enough port cities with good music scenes, good venues. Um, we actually, we are doing the, uh, the 70,000 tons of metal cruise in, in January. That, that goes from Miami to someplace in Mexico. We, we play on that, so that'll be... That's been getting a Quite lot some, of press. You guys are going to be up there with some really big ranks on that. Um, yeah. Uh, Ice Earth just got confirmed for it. Testament, Exodus, uh, Death Angel, which one with now is going to be on it. Um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be stupid funny. What's, What's up? What's up, Admiral? Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Don't put that fucking camera. On. Okay. Put it on him. Put it on him. I you can't do it if you don't want me to. Intact, you keep that on hand. I there you go. It. I say you do it. Can't do it. Can I do it? I'm a guest in your house, man. If you man. give me the camera, can I do it? Chris, you do it. You're, he's a fuck. My name is Red Rum, okay? I'll give why do you got it? Why? Why? <laughs> I don't even care about this man. <laughs> Good. Hey, I quit. You want to know how much I, I care quit. about this man? I quit, too. I quit. I quit. I just witnessed the death of the We just, there you have it. Let's Ladies and gentlemen, okay, you want forget this idea? interview. You they want just want broke up. Reunite? Let's rejoin. All right, we'll, we'll rejoin. Okay, Swashbuckle's back together. Okay. Reunited and... Tonight is now a reunion show. You just witnessed the breakup Mark, and reunion wait, wait. of Swashbuckle. Everybody, everybody at home, this is my man Mark from Death Angel. I am his man. How's it going, Mark? Good. How's we love it? each other. We do. We do. <laughs> you guys have been sharing this bus. Yes, that too. Don't you guys? I mean, but that's... not together like that. Not no. together like that. No. no it's kind of like sharing underpants. You know, it just doesn't mean anything. It's totally natural. Totally. Okay. Totally. Yeah, I mean, living in close quarters with one, I mean, it's one thing to like, you know, bands, close quarters, and beds being six inches apart from each other, but I mean, here, pants. you guys, I mean, what is it like with, you know, sharing beds I mean, with, I'm, uh... I'm pretty sure I used one of your old condoms once, a couple so, times, maybe. So you gotta go green, you gotta recycle. Save the whales. Well, you can wash yeah. those things. You can. Shave the whales. I can wash Shave them the whales. spotless. Death Spot 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 you can eat and environmentally off. conscious. And it's good because we both use the extra big ones. Totally. Yeah. And when I'm done washing them, and that's nice. You can eat off them. Have it's you eaten off them? You could use them. Well, wait a minute. Those are re those are like so you know tight. You could probably use them as like Tupperware. <laughs> right? That's how it, you know. It's I like your style. style. So sharing a bus with pirates is okay by you, Mark. Amen. Okay. Amen. Rock on. Yeah. And how's you know? Let's just turn this. Can we turn this into a co-interview right now? You want to make it happen? Death Angel. Do you mind? No. Um, yeah, I'd like to what is too. your mission? What are you here to do? To keep playing and playing and playing and playing so as many people could hear us and as many people could see us as possible. Including on the seas, evidently, with this, uh, what, 7,000, 70,000? How many, how many tons of metal is it? 7,000 tons. We're going to fuck every chick on that boat. Rock on. And, but, but you only need one condom because you can keep washing it. We brought, we brought my condom on this, this tour. The next time, next time we'll bring his condom. See. There you go. And how's the scene out in San Francisco these days? Yeah? Yeah. Rock on. Yeah. A lot of a lot of new clubs popping up again. A lot of rehearsal studios popping up again. Cause for a while uh, they were uh, they were. Uh, you have to put those on. Now. I do. 
Even though they're not mine? No, it just yeah. got darker in here. See? So, that's See, what you I, I feel like Tom Cruise. We're in Chicago. We got to be like the fucking Blues Brothers, man. We're oh, yeah. That's right. God. That's right. We are on a mission from Can God. I be Jake? Can I be Elwood? Yeah. All that right. works Brothers then. Too. No, John oh, Goodman know, was in yeah. Blues John Brothers too. So. See, same thing. But we don't we don't actually, no, no. we don't like to think about Blues Brothers 2000 because that was atrocious. Like that it's like Grease too. It's like Grease too. It never happened. That never happened either. I want a cool rider, a Me cool rider. Why, Godfather three never happened. No. The Star Wars prequels never Although happened. Although I do have a soft spot. Happened. I have I have I have the man. kind of the hots for uh for uh what's her name? That one girl. Um, Coppola. Natalie Portman. Oh yeah. Oh, Are you talking about Sophia Wars Coppola? Coppola. Talking about Sophia you Coppola. Yeah, yeah. You Actually, got the hots for her? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Hey, just take those old records off the shelf. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have to wear these anymore. We're getting the band back together, man. Totally. You're on a mission from God. We are. So, uh, back to Swashbuckle for a second here. Your MySpace proclaims you're bringing scurvy back. How's yeah. that been working out for you? Um, pretty fucking awful, actually, because we get plenty of vitamin C. Damn. So. Hasn't been working out at it's all. It's a bitch, man. Uh, Red Lobster or Joe's Crab Shack? Off to your Red Lobster all the way. The biscuits. The biscuits are the best, Cheddar right? Bay biscuits, they're untouchable. How the hell do they, what's in those? Um, I think they lay some. Cocaine. Probably. And a little bit of heroin. You probably have those like before you go on a show? Every show. We're actually endorsed by Red Lobster now. Is that a fact? They send Cheddar Bay biscuits to every single show. We eat them, we microwave them. Um, we bring our microwave. We actually, we have our own oven now. Isn't that right? It's true. Don't put, don't look at me. Bootsman, you're not, you're not here. Bootsman Collins over here, <laughs> uh, off camera. Uh, clearly off. Yes, as a matter of fact, we have our own oven. Um, we have a stable of horses that follows us at an eighteen wheeler. Horse. Yeah. And horse. Horse and ho horse. Horse, horse on, on horses. horses. Yeah. Did you see how we did that? In that just totally happened. See how that happened? And um, you guys are practically the same fella. We actually bought um, Barnum and Bailey. You know what I'm saying? The whole circus. The whole situation. circus is ours now. Bought the Blue Man Group. Uh, we're planning on purchasing the moon next year. Do you ever feed the Blue Man Group? What the hell do they eat? Uh, they don't. Eat, they don't. <laughs> it's, it's photosynthetic. They Blueberries. get all of their sustenance from the sun. <laughs> and I uh, bought the cast from Rent. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna but I'm be, zany like that. Also, we keep, we keep, we keep Bill Four in a very tight niche. Bill Four. In a fight, in an epic naval fight, who would win? Nessie the Loch Ness Monster or the fucking Kraken. Kraken. Gotta go with the Kraken. You gonna go with the Kraken? Beasts. I'm not gonna argue that. Nessie's not real. She's not real. That's not real? Who's not real? But they're Scottish. They can throw down, though. Yeah? The Scots. Nessie versus Kraken. What's your take? I know a couple Scots, and they all kind of stink. Uh, they they, they the actually smell bad. And they're like both fantastic. Okay. Not me. <laughs> Ariel? The mermaid? Yeah. I, or Daryl no, Hannah no, from don't Splash? Even, no, don't, don't even fo follow up Ariel, no matter what. No matter what. Those shells are, are nice, nice, right? Yeah. It's, hey. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? <laughs> Daryl Hannah. I don't know how to follow that up. Daryl Hannah. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're going to go with Daryl Hannah? For Ariel? Yeah. You just, okay. Well, like Follow up question then if it's going to be no, Daryl Hannah. If it's going to be Daryl Hannah. I got to stress the fine, but I'm Buddy Holly. <laughs> with the fin or with the legs? Legs. Got good legs. Amen. Okay, cool. Leg guy. Leg you got to have something to spread. Absolutely. How would that work? Everyone who's out there who hasn't seen a Death Angel or a Swashbuckle show, how much are they missing out on? Um, everything. Pretty much. Trains Train. going by. We've got horses. We have horse on horses. Yes. Blue Man Group. Yes. Uh, beer, yes. biscuits, and now we've got trains. And Disney. we got trains. And Disney. We just, we went musical there. We've also witnessed a reunion, a breakup. And I'm holding our underpants. Yes. Yeah. Our. Our <laughs> underpants. It's my turn tonight. Yeah, it's see. my turn. Well, that's why I brought them on, folded and everything. God, I'm sick <laughs> of you pushing me around like this. <laughs> Do you fold this laundry? Do you fold, Do this, I fold this laundry? Yeah. I fold, you know, all white people. Our laundry. <laughs> all white people's laundry. <laughs> Why's it got to be a race thing? Because <laughs> I'm a minority. <laughs> I've been oppressed. And I'm not. I'm a pirate. That's true. A redhead one at that. Yeah, <laughs> Only gingers can call them gingers. Ginger. All right, it's it's ginger. Ginger. we're about to have a lot of other <laughs> unexpected events go down in this uh, very existential interview. This bus is the craziest I've ever been on. I'm Hank Pearl with the DailyRock.com. We're out.